And that is a match. Whew. I'll take it. Commando, commando. Ooh, ER PPCs. Clan large poles. Nice, I'll take it. Alright, so uh, looks like uh, Hitman is pretty much maxed out as far as gunnery, so I'm actually heal him and Lynx. I'm going to be switching them out, putting Beast and Countess in the Timberwolf and Mad Dog and all the others now. So we need to get those uh, need to get those guys up up to up to par as far as skills. All right, let's go ahead and take this. All right, this setup is pretty much what I roll with, um, unless I've got the clan. Um, uh, large pulse you can see I just pretty much go with this setup right here um, the W version I'll put uh, two ERP PCs at Goss one large laser two uh, two pulse it's a really good setup um, let's see if uh, they have any mech wars I can purchase but damn like a burnout those are those sensor skills all right this is Link. don't need links in that particular mech anymore let's see what the mission is we've got uh, capture re-education camp and escort free prisoners to base, protect base HQ. Mission time limit, 15 minutes. This is actually a really, really fun mission. It can be very difficult at times. I'm pretty sure you you can send forces down. Um, and then on the way back, you get some guys that attack you. But I'm pretty sure your base gets attacked while you're gone too. So you have to leave someone behind for protection. And that being said, we only have, what, four, well, 425 tons. Got plenty of tonnage here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is rock out here. I want to bring the heavy, heavy stuff. Um, I did like that setup last time for this particular battle mech, just for the fact that I could just sit back, didn't really have to worry about... Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that. I think that's pretty much going to be stock. Uh, nice range weapon, plus the short if needed so all right my catapult um let's see here i'm gonna go ahead and check real quick hmm Ooh. ultra ac there we go take the ultra ac i do have a large pulse and go with the two. Let's see what can I fit in here. All right, that'll work. Energy base, direct fire weapon. That's good. It's going to be close range, close quarters sometimes. But I got four. Let's take those. Mm. I need some. Uh... There we go. All right, so now what I usually do is I start leveling up the pilots that aren't maxed out on gunnery um, such as countess outlaw beast um, now you're going to take a hit because as far as their uh, combat effectiveness because of their skill apparently but uh it's easily um, this is the beast. countered easily countered because i mean they're going to level up really quickly and that's what you want so i'm going to go ahead and put Uh, outlaw, this countess, is and oh, falcon. All right. Um, now, with this, I'm. I don't know if I usually take a repair truck or not. I may though. I'm not sure. Let's take some mediums. I want some uh, heavy punchers. I need someone to guard the base as well, so I'm, I might might do... Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave two guys at base. And... That's, that's what I'm going to do. Work. 
gonna leave Hunter and Link at base, and that leaves me 65, no, leaves me pretty much 85, 90 tons for two mechs, and I can definitely take another, the Jaeger, yeah, I'll take the Jaeger. And let's load up on some direct fire. I need some heavy hitting. These PPCs, man, in this game are just brutal. And that being said, who do I want to try to level up here? I want to keep Hitman going for his... Yeah, that'll work out. So, um, let's see. I've got... Uh, 20 tons I want to say maybe maybe I've taken a refit uh, maybe it's a risk here but let me, let me see how much a refit truck is I don't think they're too expensive and that gives me okay 55 tons I can take a centurion I'll take a centurion let's go with some uh, let's go with a close range hitter let's load them up with some uh, Go with that. Gauss rifle and a heavy ultra AC. And I'll take Hitman in I'll take Hitman in that. This is Hitman. That way I know he'll be hitting pretty much every single time. Now my payload's are not maxed out. Actually I might be able to help that. No. Nope. Maxed out payload, it's alright. It's not the end of the world. I'll go ahead and take that. Nice. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead first off, I'm gonna regroup these. Hunter and Lynx stay at base and then we roll out. Now obviously um, I gotta protect the base, and time limit is 15, 15, uh, minutes. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. Um, these guys stay here. I'm pretty sure they come in from over here. Anyways, go ahead and start the long push. This is a fun mission. You do have to be a little bit quick on the on the gun here, but that's all right. Just gonna go ahead and scout a little bit here. Lots of clicking. So basically what happens is I'm going to go down this right side all the way up to objective one and I don't want my damn repick truck to be the tip of the spear there. Come on guys. And I've got uh, my two light mechs back at base protecting base because I'm pretty sure. Yep. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on this fight because this is really important. Ooh, yeah, good hit. And they're out. Alright. Just the being said, I'm going to go ahead and move up. 
It was a good job on those guys. I'm glad I left them there. And these guys are about to be rolled. Stop and repair really quick. Stopping is ordered. Yes, sir. Repair. Fill up on ammo. Get beast hooked up. Remember, Hitman is all ballistics too, so he is that uh, Ultra AC and the Goss. All right, we're going to push up here. Um, it's going pretty well so far. Got my uh, forces down south again. I just want to sort of. There we go. Nice little uh, peek at what's going on. This guy's headed straight for me. Literally straight for me. Hey, it's gonna be going down relatively quick. Yep. See, buddy. Just using energy weapons, just trying to minimize the use of ammo. And salvage. As you can see, salvage happens quite a bit when using the pulse lasers. That's why I use them so well. Oof, PPC. Face. Alright, well that did salvage, that's fine. Alright, it's time to roll. Now I'm um, about six minutes into this. And I only have, I have 15 minutes to, to capture this up here. So it's not 15 minutes in total. It's just 15 minutes to uh, rescue the prisoners and go from there. So right now I am well ahead of uh, schedule. I've still got eight minutes. I'm coming from the right side. Here we go. My sensors have a new Focused fire. So pull back here. Let's go ahead and take out these uh, bulldog tanks. They've got an AC, a heavy AC. I just don't want to have to deal with it, to be honest. It's just better to just knock, knock those uh, things out at long range. And these uh, Rommels can be dangerous too. As you can see, I'm not taking too much damage. Not too much. And I'll go ahead and lay on the pressure now. Get my... Uh... You can hear that it Ultra AC going bam. Just Wrecking. Okay, I just 
capture the thing. Sometimes ah. Uh, Alright, I need to get back. Mission objective building Three, two, one, one. Awesome, got it. That was gonna be a problem. Sweet, that worked out. That was like perfectly timed. Um, all right, as you can see, I got some enemy forces here. I got the APC that uh, I'm gonna try to get my clan mechs out front. They're faster, obviously. Just wanna stop and repair, but uh, this APC is like, no, go. Put it on guard duty. Ah, what the hell is it doing? Need to get rid of this spotter. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like one of the most dangerous, stupid dangerous. No! Damn it. Well, there goes the repair truck. That's all right. Another one. <laughs> uh, I got ECM that's about to jump out here. Well, I, uh, my refit kit bit the dust, but that's all right. I need to hurry up and get back because these enemy forces are going to be coming relatively quickly. All right, good. Beast is headed there. Let's go ahead and follow his movement. More worried of them. Oh, nah, never mind. That's it. All right, so that actually worked out really well, as you can see. Beast is now veteran status. Same thing with Countess. Um, across the board, I'm happy with that. Six, eight kills over here. A lot of uh, center. Um, no, obviously, no one was jumping, so that's not a biggie. But. Kit Fox, Kit Fox, ooh, look at that, Kit Fox, Kit Fox, ooh, yep, I'll take it. Always nice to get more clan tech. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you want to get the, uh, the, the inexperienced pilots into the max as soon as possible, just for the fact that, uh, you know, they do rack up a whole lot of kills uh, in the max, so this is very, very important to get them in there. Um, so let's see here. Don't need the commandos. Let's see what else was salvaged. Mm, I'll keep one raven. And eh, no, don't need it. All right. Let me go ahead and repair these. There is a few missions. Uh, I know of one that I think I use pretty much almost all light mechs. So it'll be nice once I have those, uh, have those missions to be able to utilize those uh, clan line mechs. All right. 
Cougar A, Cougar J, nice. Another large pulse, repair. Ooh, all the weapons on this one. Very good, very good. All right, on this particular mission, ooh, this one's fun. Uh, protect base HQ building, protect sensor control, and of course, northern turret power, southern turret power. Um, we've got a 480 tons, and basically, um, we've got upon arrival, you'll be placed in command. There's allied units there. Um, the enemies will arrive in two waves. There are two repair bays, so I don't need to worry about uh, repair vehicles. Um, this is actually one of the missions I utilize the mine layer outside of the farm. Um, what I do is I'll grab a mine layer and um, actually, do they have one? It's either I take one or they have one. I'm pretty sure I take, no, they have one. Basically what happens when I move in here, I get control of the mine layer and I, and I mine this area right here this entire area and so there's forces that'll come in they either they come in this way or this way but they come in right here and they try to enter the base and so I just mine it up and then what I also do is I mine this entire stretch right here I mean it's like ridiculous what I do usually um, at least that's what I've done in the past um, so that being said yeah you can definitely use uh, landmines on this I I don't know if I have to bring one or if I get a mine layer. I can't remember. Oh man, it's been so long. So long. Let's let me go ahead and save this so far. All right. How many people are watching right now? Just a handful, okay, I get it. Maybe not, not too many people enjoy the uh, Gameplay, I, I can understand that. I'm just thinking that's a long way to take a mine layer, but maybe I'm mistaken. I think old school's good though. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I just try to brute force this one. How about how about I do that? How about uh I'm pretty sure there's mine layer there. So I'm not gonna bring one. Uh, if there isn't, there isn't. It's not the end of the world. I'll just have to, uh, you know, fight on through it, fight the battle. That's all right. Let's go ahead and look at, um, those. I just want to use... Oh, that'll work. These are mainly just support. I just want to get those missiles on. Let's see. That'll be four. That'll work. Um, yep, that works. And that. Alright. Is that what it says at the bottom? No. Oh, it includes at least one mine layer. Yeah, funny how that works, huh? Read the entire text, Phil. All right, cool. Go ahead and take the Jaeger as well. Load this uh, thing up. Well, I'll take the large laser over the one. 
All right, so Mech Warriors, let's see, do I have any for purchase? Nice, finally, Vixen is here, Goblin is here. Nice, got those, awesome. Let's, uh, let's, let's see, who do we want in these particular, well, let's see. I don't want to continue having these two in here. I do need to work on these particular skills. Let's, uh, let's get Vixen in this one. Beast. Need some love. Beast is already down there. Okay, cool. Countess. This is Countess. Let's say goblin. goblin. All right, got three mech slots left. I've still got plenty of tonnage. Let's see, 80, 145 around there. Let's see. Uh, let's take a. Let's take some some hitting power. Close range in your face hitting power so it's a good thing right first pulse Maybe instead of that how about I go yep yeah, there we go and I'll take Hitman. Hitman. There we go. Still got uh, Centurion. Goss Rifle. Large Pulse. Falcon here. And 40 tons left. That means I can take one jump capable mech. Or one armor. I'm going to take the armor cougar and I'm actually going to drop that basic. There we go. There's really no point in taking the Guardian ECM. Beagle active, as you can see, power down within the range is really not necessary. Has a range of enemy sensors, um, but again, it's not that important. But. I'll take the guardian, and I'll put uh, this is Hunter. Hunter in that, and we are good to go. All right. All right. Pretty sure the first thing I do is this. vehicles that come in from this direction. Not sure how much though, so I'm gonna go ahead and just lay these down. Let's put these on the road here. Lots clicking, totally understand. A little bit annoying. Be alright though, you'll live through it. Won't be able to sleep. The clicking. The clicking. New leader selected. All right. Come on, mine layer. Gonna go ahead and move. Ooh, there you go. There's a sensor uh, update for you. <laughs> for you. Like I said, um, pretty sure. keep them out. Um, I do know right off the bat that these guys from the north get in. So I just set them sort of to uh, do their do their spill. I set these guys to guard. Which is uh, quite effective. Don't really have to worry about these guys getting in here. 
too much. It's actually sort of brutal. But, uh, it's alright. around and I'm sort of uh, preparing for later on I, I know they do come through this area and you know you can, I'm just manually clicking here I want to put at least two lines and then I'll go inside as well I need to get ready for this fight that's about to go down uh, let me pay attention down here. Bam, bam, bam. They will shoot through these walls. See, they're gonna start concentrating fire. And I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys over here. And these guys. This is where it gets a little interesting. Backing up, keeping that range. And let's just go ahead and finish this real quick. Oh shit. What is this guy doing? Oh my gosh, one more hit and that thing's dead. No. <laughs> See how they repair me. Ah, damn mouse scroll. There we go. All right, well that sort of worked out. Now I'd go ahead and start loading up on mines in here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's all there is. Reset complete. Very good, sir. Lots of dead mechs everywhere. Reporting reset complete. Reporting reset complete. Piece of cake. Yes, sir. Fixing didn't even take any damage. And I think you can pretty much just sort of sit back after you get these mines down. You can pretty much sit back and let let the mines do the work, which is a good thing. Sort of keeps your guys out of trouble. I mean, the chance of you losing a mech warrior or something like that, it's, it's relatively low. Um, but it sucks losing like someone like Hunter or Lynx, you know, this far in the game. Um, 
I've had it happen a multitude of times, and it's never fun. Let's go ahead and do that. So everyone's repaired. I am pretty heavy here as far as uh, forces, but that's, that's all right. I'll go ahead and scout this way with the Pegasus at. There they are. But I'll have Lance 1, Lance 2 over here. Let's see what we got here. Multiple missiles. Pegasus will die in a second. Maybe, well, maybe they're getting away. Go ahead and keep bolstering up here. Sometimes I make it in base. You just wanna just take them out. Anyways, guys, hopefully you're enjoying tonight's uh, Twitch stream. A little bit different from Mechman or Gold. It is Saturday night, Sunday morning, wherever. I don't know. Time flies. You're having fun. I have a new contact on my screen. All right, so I think that's a good amount of mines here. They're gonna go through the turrets and then they're gonna make it in. And that's fine. We're we're expecting that. And again, we're trying to protect the sensor control and the HQ. So let's just sort of see how things play out here. They're going to get through relatively easy. Thing is, making them pay for getting through. A lot of them will start taking leg damage. They'll start coming through. I am under attack. We're so close. I want the majority of them to be. There we go. That's fine. Move in, group two, move in. Group one, folks fire, group two, folks fire. And this should be relatively quick and dirty. Let's switch over to energy weapons. Try to get the, try to get the salvage. Close with. <laughs> Going for the, the headshot. It's not quite working, so let's do energy. There we go. There we go. Right. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, I thought this guy was attacking. Whoa. What's this guy doing? Bam. All right. There we go. Got quite a bit of experience on that one. Again, Beast getting five kills, almost there. I just want to get that, uh, get those gunnery skills all the way maxed out, rotating in and out. Uh, Outlaw did well. And Firestarter, Firestarter, Hunchback, W, Centurion, Cougar, Centurion, Hunchback, Hunchback, Catapult, Hunchback. As you can see, a lot of salvage as you get further along in this particular uh, game. And uh, quite fun. Alright, ooh, this one's tough. Ooh, this is a really... Alright, so, 
Out of all the uh, missions so far, this is actually the second mission you actually run across a, another Timberwolf or Mad Cat that you can salvage. And what I do is um, I start the mission and I'll drop a sensor, um, this little camera drone right here, and then I use a large arty strike and boom, right in the cockpit. Sometimes I have to redo this a lot of times because I'll mess up and I'll kill him or doesn't doesn't quite work, but... This is how this is how I play this particular mission. I'm not gonna lie. I I retry it until I get it. I want my I want my Mad Cats. I want my Timberwolf. Look at all that. Um, I don't need need these particular Max Plus. They are beat to shit. Don't need these. I got plenty of them. I'll keep the catapult just for the fact that not a whole lot of damage to this thing. Plus, I can always reuse it. No loss of limb there. Just all cosmetic, pretty much. Uh, let's see, Mech Warriors as well. It's always nice. Up oh, there's Mantis. As ordered, sir. All right. So, like I said, this one, um, this is actually a pretty lengthy mission. Um, you've got multiple repair bays on this, and obviously the objective is to destroy the administration building here at Objective One. Get forced to. Get forces to the extraction point in objective two and uh, capture the sensor. That's uh, you don't have to do that, but that's three. And um, obviously, the power generators for the turrets of the sensor complex are located in the southeast. Obviously, southeast. Here you go. And there's multiple ways you can uh, finish and get over here. There's as you can see uh, southeast or northwest. And you've got 450 tons, which I believe is a little bit more than I had previously. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop these this is Hitman. out and get people that need in Mantis, Mantis is one of those I believe that's all I need there we go so I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much take the same thing um, see it's one of those things where I could drop one of these Bring two max instead. No, I'll just I'll just leave it be. Let's see what uh, a weapon system. Do I have anything direct fire? Hmm. -mm. Nope. Nope. And switch out the clan versions. Can't do that. Take an advanced sensor. That'll work. Alright. Yeah, you don't see a whole lot of clan ER PPCs and, and until a little bit later. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start this. You do have one small, one large. Like I said, I am out to salvage this mech right here. So this is how I'd normally do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna <laughs> just gonna sit and wait. Get ready. Here we go. Let's see how well does this go? Ah, damn it! I destroyed it right through the cockpit. Totally knocked it out. Mission. I've got to try that one again. I I will get this. I, you know, this may take a few, so just bear with me, guys. <laughs> Let's turn it this way. I will get this. Come on. I need, and it's a, it's a Timberwolf W, so it's got a huge, massive amount of uh, weaponry payload. He's gonna move, do his little wine thing. I'm gonna try one more. Don't think this is gonna work, but I'll try it. Nope, didn't do it. Damn it! All right, I've, I know, I know what you guys are thinking. Come on, how many times are you gonna do this, Phil? Until I get it. That's how many times. I love me my Timberwolf. 
Alright. He has no idea. He's just sitting there thinking, man, freaking, freaking hate these damn freebird scum. Bam! Yes! Got it! 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 Ah, uh, yeah. See? And I did cockpit him, but it forced me to eject. I love that. Look at that thing. Yes. Alright. So, mission is a go. And it is time to roll. And I want max damage here. I want to get as many kills, even if it's vehicle. I want I want uh, my pilots to get as much experience as they can. So I'm going to go after all of these targets. Alright, I am going to go south first. I'm going to get rid of the turret power up here. New sensor contact. The uh, turret generators are located in the southeast. I'm going to go ahead and make my way. Uh, by the way, you can play Mech Commander. There is a download. It is available out there for those that are interested. All right, this is about to get real. Oh. Yeah, your Mac wants to play. The only problem about the Jaeger is they do not have a whole lot of uh, armor. So I want to close with about medium range, as you can see. That way all of my weapon systems are pretty much useful. And hey, they want us to be on walls? Let them. I don't care. I got missiles. I do want to watch these two contacts right here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pursue this. Catapult. Boom! Oh, crit shot. No ejection. Ouch. One less uh, smoke jaguar, people. One less smoke jaguar. Don't really care about salvaging this particular... Oh, damn, another one. You see that cockpit shot? You know where he's going? He's going nowhere. <laughs> oh. There's two clanners. They're not, they're not giving anyone any problems anymore. And he's dead. Yeah, obliterated. The nice thing here is I got another uh, mech bay. One thing you want to watch out for is the gates shutting. You've had gates shut on your mech before? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that, how pissed off you are. You can bypass engaging those guys and blow up this, um, the fuel. You can have a guy sneak up top that does uh, negate that. All right, so first things first, I'm going to get some repairs. Just basically re uh, get some more ammo. Armor, just uh, flush it up really quick. Alright. It's one of those things I love. Zoomed in. Alright, as you can see, Falcon runs out of uh, Goss ammo really quick. Goss does 
really, really good uh, damage on this, but you do, you run out of ammo really quick. Now, one thing that I, I've, I've learned from like game design is that, you know, like, are these mech bays realistic? No, they're not realistic. I mean, I, I think we all realize that it would take, you know, you take a little bit of damage, it, it could take, uh, or, you know, damage in general, you know, would take probably days, if not hours, to repair on a battle mech. But the one thing from game design is, like, to be able to tell the story and throw a large amount of forces are, you have to have a mechanic to be able to repair. And, um, you know, when you look at it that way, um, you know, makes logical sense. I've know, you know, I, I've had that discussion with a few people like, oh, well, it's not just sort of, sort of stupid that you can just repair like that. Well, you want to be able to do, you want to be able to go up against this many forces, you know, it's just not realistic. But one thing I do like is, look at the mad dog. This is one thing. This is a real mad dog, people. And I posted up on, um, it's funny, I posted on Facebook earlier, not that Mech Warrior 4 garbage, obviously, I'm joking, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but, this is a Mad Dog. I, I love the look at it. I don't know why they tried or changed it. I, I really don't understand that. It looked more like the um, Mark like 5 or whatever, Mark 10. Um, but that is a Mad Dog. It's it's elegant. It's graceful. And same thing with the Timberwolves. Like, I felt like those mechs, it's a part of grace. They're, they're very organic. They're... they're uh, Simo was like, oh, well, those legs don't look like they can support that mask. Guys, really? We're, we're, you know, no. Just, no. Alright, I'm just going to break my way in here. There are a few mechs inside. I felt like that was a part, though, that, that gave it its prowess, you know? It's that sort of predat predatory look, not this, you know? And, I mean, it's, it's like looking at any, like, uh, like, look at a wolf. I mean, it's not gigantically, you know, weird in proportions, you know? I mean, I don't know. This is the beat. I'm on it. Now the one bonus is if you keep the turrets online, you can come in from this direction and you have enemy mechs that will respond and your, you know, the turrets will fire and stuff like that. So that is a bonus if you do that. But obviously I destroyed the turret. You can see right here. Already got some forces responding to me. That's fine. Got it, sir. Jaeger, Jaeger, Jaeger. Get some repairs while I'm sitting here. Um, I actually haven't ran across any of the summoners yet, so that actually comes relatively soon. Right now, like I said, I just salvaged drop that artillery strike on this temple right here and it worked i am so happy look at that all of that awesomeness is going to be mine very good sir <laughs> Holy shit. Anybody just see what just happened to that thing? CT, crit, hit, boom. Force ejection. I love that. I love this about Mac Commander. It's like one of the things that I've just always, always loved. Just the visceral impact of some of these weapons. Just do 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 do. Again, I'm not really concerned with salvaging him. I'm more of worried about ammo conservation. I want to have to run back here and repair. I'll just kill him. Kill him. 
Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and push up here. I do have some targets that I'll, I'll swing around. Before I go to objective two, I'll, I'll get all the kills. Um, so again, I'm going for <laughs> missions without salvage. Timber will fast to be started. I agree. Oh shit. Well. Bam! You hear that? That that's that Ultra AC. That's that thing. You just oh, it's brutal. Like I think the most visceral sound is like you'll see a, a light mech take a shot right to the cockpit with one of those things, and it's just no pilot. There's no. It's they're done. Stopping his order. All right, so what's basically happened is I've set off the queue for the enemy forces moving in. I think though that you have to cross all the way over. Yeah, it's one of those like uh, triggers to cross all the way over. Uh, I'm pretty sure though that uh, the turret control is like right here, or maybe it's up here somewhere. I don't know. We'll find it. Like, yeah, it's up here. So now that you got this, you got a little bit of support, a little bit of a beachhead, so when these things do come in, you do have a little bit of support. You gotta be careful though, because not all those turrets are yours yet. Yep. There's the Jaeger. Let's go ahead and get some salvage up here. Another Jaeger. Oh my god, that's a lot of fire. Poor, poor guys. Ah, screw them. They're just smoke jaguar scum. No mercy. No mercy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pull away here. I've taken quite a bit of damage and... I'm gonna get at least back here. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and press up here north, northward. Under attack. Count on me, sir. On the attack. I'm taking hit. Alright, almost through. Come on, come on. Get a run and start. Go take that. Go take it. Alright, we're gonna go take these other ones as well. Run, run, run. Right here. Take this really quick. Alright, got quite a bit of damage here. But I should be fine to go ahead and swing around. Outlaw here, enemy vehicle destroyed. Got it, sir. I'm gonna take a Bravo Lance. 
they're uh, well armored. They don't have as much damage here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll swing southward here and I'll go repair as well. That way I don't have to pay for any of it. It's not a big detriment, but you know, we are micromanaging a, a group here. Right, here they come. All right, here we go. Get to the rear here. And he should be coming down very, very soon. Okay, he's, he's gone. Yes, sir. And I'm pretty sure there's a, a steel tank. Yep, there's steel tanks right here. I know that's another way you can lure these guys in as well. Alright, so I'm going to go across the uh, southern peninsula bridge area down here. So as you can see, a lot of fuel to You do not want to be in one of these when these things go off, by the way. Uh, your mechs will die in a giant ball of fire. And I actually use them quite extensively a little bit later on in the uh, campaign and the missions. You know, you, what you can do is you can set up little uh, choke points and they'll come your way and boom, just go off and whew. But yeah, anybody, uh, if anybody out there oops, has a ton of experience or any experience modding, by the way, there are um, things you can mod in Mech Commander, or Mech Commander Gold, like big things too. I mean, like uh, I've got uh, some information on that as well. But if anybody out there has um, experience modding these old games, uh, please, please get in contact with me. I've got a lot of resources. Uh, to sort of help point us in the dire right direction. You can add weapons and all that. The big thing for me is I would love to be able to play this game in my max res. Like that's that's another thing is like being able to just a little bit more compatibility. Yes, I actually do plan on playing the campaign. I just haven't got there yet. I'm going through this single player campaign right now, so. Acknowledged. Complete. What are you so doing, it. Vixen? Get away. Um, Thor, um, I was actually, I haven't played in a long time. This is actually the first time I played since last, last YouTube uh, video. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll send this uh, footage to, uh, I'll get it on YouTube for us. I'll export it for you guys, so those that can want to can catch up watch all of the glory it'll be a little bit long it's like two hours or something maybe i'll put up part one part two beast has taken too many hits though i don't like that though that's the only only negative thing sometimes you just you get selected out got it sir Yeah, this game runs, uh, was it six, 640 by 400 or something like that, whatever the resolution is, so it is, it is rough. I blew it up though, what I did is, uh, you know, you guys are watching it, I just blew up the uh, image to 720. The one thing, you know, I do like about this game is the chance, uh, the random chance, the random chance of losing, gaining, building. Um, obviously, this game could have been a lot harder. I am playing on hard, but, you know, it could have been a lot more severe where, you know, you will, you will usually take casualties. Um, you know, they could have always done that. Um, there is a campaign editor. Um, but unfortunately, you have to have the game installed, and uh, that ain't happening. Uh, you know, I've got the ISO image. You can install it on Windows 7, but basically what you do is you drag all the, the CD contents out, or just directly play it from the CD itself. Um, 
but unfortunately you can't install it so you can't get the editor to work but i think someone with the programming and, and modding experience you can get it to work and uh like i said this game has always intrigued me i would say this is probably my favorite mech warrior battle tech game to date um i i just really don't think there's really anything else to say other than that um, the expansion pack especially it's just for sprite graphics uh, it's pretty amazing obviously you can imagine uh, this is all 2d there's no 3d to this as far as I'm aware and to be able to you know create something that I mean, that's that's pretty awesome you know I mean I have no idea how to create graphics like that. I mean, no, obviously I'm working on BTU, and that's all 3D, but um, I have no idea how they did this. And the cool thing is they made tile-based, um, so everything's a square um, when it comes to textures and stuff, so it made things a lot easier. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push up to the administration building, take this out, and then I've just got basically... A uh, hunchback and a few bulldogs, and it is over. I love the way they move as well. I mean, just that predatory, you know, movement. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a timber wolf up there. It's, it's right here. I took it out with Artie at the very beginning. And I salvaged it. That was the whole point. Look at that. Just frontal damage forced him to eject, and I got everything. <laughs> so that was the whole point. I had to restart it like two times. Just zoom in here, administration building. See the big smoke jaguar on front, too? Oh, yeah. We're not letting these guys get away. No, not these cleaners. Look at these little sprite dudes. Yeah, you're all dying. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cruel world. Jaguars. <laughs> ah! That scrolling down is going to get me killed all these times. Holy shit, that's a lot of... I just want to take the tanks out really quick. Before they take beast out. Alright, he's bad. Oh man, there he is. Just, just ejected. Alright, and that is it. I just gotta get up to the extraction marker. And that is a Timberwolf sacrificed for the greater good of me. And I think I should get uh, quite a bit of extra stuff. And you can see on this particular mission, you know, that was pretty much the only clan tech, really. Everything else was catapults, uh, Jaeger Max, and stuff like that. So. Oh, yeah, look at that. Four kills, five kills. Almost there. I mean, these guys are going to be going. This outlaw is going to be going. He, um, a veteran soon. Let's see. Look at that. Jaeger catapult. Jaeger catapult. Catapult. Um, no clan tech other than the the Timberwolf. So, and eh, you know, it's a disappointment, but uh, it's all right. Incoming transmission. You've made progress. But with the clan orbital gun still in place, our main invasion force will be taken apart before it can even land. You must silence those guns. Partisans have been able to locate several emplacements, but the clan also use mobile guns, which have constantly moved to avoid detection. The mobile guns must be found. Until they are taken out, we cannot attempt our assault on the starport. Now, the bad news. You made quite an impression. The Jaguar have mobilized fresh companies of heavy and assault class mechs in your honor and more elite pilots. So the party is over. 
I'm downloading your objectives and battalion is standing by. Out. You've She's all so serious. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go ahead and look at here. We've got link up with the APC with the Masakari, aka Warhawk. Then use the Warhawk to complete objective two, destroy orbital guns. This is actually a really cool one. Um, you only have 15 tons, so pretty much you are limited with what you can bring, which is a uh, support vehicle. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna take these out because I'm not gonna be using these. I'm not gonna change up their loadouts because uh, that's pretty much what I'm sticking with. Uh, hunchback, don't need these. Man, just so many catapults, don't need them. I've got plenty of them, Jaegers, Jaegers. And of course, the big prize, here it is. Look at that thing, just beastie. Um, yeesh. All right, let's go ahead and look at this. Obviously, um, this would probably be the setup I would go with, just for the fact that uh, you want those two, ER two ER PPCs um, and you want the close range hitting power. Usually what I'll do is I'll do this. Um, and I'll go Clan Goss and Advanced Sensor. Yeah, I, I like that first one, the two and three large poles. Oh, advanced Sensor, look at that, just taking that advanced. I thought I had, oh, yeah, duh. Nope, Clan, there we go. And then on this, obviously, go back to Clan Goss. And so now I've got two Timberwolves and a Mad Dog. I'm happy. Oh, <laughs> we are selling Davion. What kind of... Uh, let's see. Did I get any new pilots? Yeah. This is Dragon. This is Blaze. Oof. It's always nice, man. Struggled. I did lose a mech, uh, or a mech warrior early on. And I uh, had a little ceremony on, on Facebook for him when that happened. Let's go ahead and look at vehicles here. Um, I've got the Pegasus, and then I got the Swift Wind. I usually go with the Pegasus vehicle. And I uh, just called a day. So, all right. Uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, here we go. This, uh... Commence a deployment. Mech warriors prepare for combat. Not a whole lot to this one. Just get to objective one and roll. All right, I'm gonna get some hide up here. Get some vantage point. I do have three small artillery strikes. Do not want to mess with these guys. They will tear me a new one. So I'm just going to go south on him. There we go. Bam. Got him. Well timed. Well timed. The one thing, I, like I said, the one thing that's nice about this is clan tech is so important. Um, and it is valuable to keeping them safe and, and you know just being where you can lose clan tech and that's one thing I just really have always appreciated appreciated about oh crap about mech commander is the fact that uh, you can lose them It's a little bit dangerous over here. Freaking aerospace spotters. Looks like Basarek is taking off. Later, buddy. Gotta, gotta make a U-turn. No, don't wanna go that way. I gotta take out these elementals, so. Yeah, 
APC should be able to pop them though. Yes, sir. A lot of times you can just expect these guys to nuke themselves. Yes, sir. Da -da -da. I'm just gonna dive in and out of here. <laughs> That's usually what I do, is I just keep going back and forth until... Alright, let's move it! We got uh, a Warhawk pilot. Son of a bitch. Just accept it. It's gonna say firestorm. Now for the payload, this is a jump jet version too. I've never really understood that. It's like instead of just giving you a better one, they give you sort of the crappier version. But whatever. New leader selected. New leader selected. Acknowledge. Can't have it all. Right. Order Can't have it all. Copy that, sir. Good morning. What's going on, guys? It looks like I got a few more people watching. We are playing some Mech Commander. Specifically, the original campaign. I do have. Um, this is gold, but I'm playing the original campaign first, and uh, it's been going on, I think, for a few hours now. <laughs> I haven't heard any complaints so far, so that's always a good thing. Yeah, you can hit A, which basically you'll only use energy weapons unless you have uh, only ballistics or energy based. Bam! Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and uh, I'm actually going to double back. Sorry, I just clicked on the wrong damn button. The enemy is engaging. Alright, here we go. I have a new sentence right here. Firestorm. Enemy closed. Ho 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 ho. Oh yeah, he's done. The enemy is engaging. Copy that, sir. 
Come on, turn, turn. Oh yeah. Right into that, and he's done. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go get more kills. Um, I'm gonna basically move up here. There's something to cap uh, as far as capture behind it. Don't forget, you always have the mech bay to go back to if you need it to repair every arm. But I'm gonna hop up here, grab this client tech. I think that's what it is. Yeah, look at that. Clan your PPC. Do you know how big that is to have an extra one of those? It's huge. All right, that being said, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get extra kills with him because I want to get his experience up as much as I can. And there are some targets out here that I can definitely uh, get some experience. And I can go repair the arm at the same time. So go ahead and do that. This is a Warhawk for those that uh, are familiar, a.k.a. the Mascari, for all of you... Uh, Inner sphere guys out there. Now you can fall in jump jet based on your skill. You can actually fall flat on your ass, which is never a good thing, by the way. Understood, sir. You gotta see, I mean, he's missing quite a bit, and his gunner is pretty high. Uh, just because uh, you have that gunnery skill up there doesn't mean you always hit. But, it doesn't do too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and repair really quick, and then I'm gonna head and destroy said vehicles. Get a few extra kills here. Help out with uh, things. Go ahead and destroy one orbital gun, or at least put them on it. It'll take them a minute, but that's alright. Oh yeah, look at that, uh... Does this have ammo? Yeah, it does. Look at that. I love that laser, though. Yeah, this game all done in 2D sprites. I think they did an amazing job with it. It's actually quite surprising what they did with it. Don't know how well the overall game did though. Like, I don't know about sales. I mean, obviously it did well enough to where they they did an expansion. Um, so, you know, I'm assuming it did well enough for that. Oh, how do you miss a stationary target, dude? Come on. Come on, man. Flamer to the face. Down, and I've got a few other vehicles, then I'll roll. Took him forever. Oh, look at that. Resource. And would have missed it too. What is it? Three auto cannons. Don't really need three auto cannons, but it's never a bad thing getting free stuff, right? 
All right, that is done. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over here and head on back. Jump up here, and he's gonna run this way. Whoa, where are you going, dude? Uh, sometimes, don't mind the. I have the the thing at the top of my screen. Easy access. It's a little. Uh, I don't know what, what's it called again. It's like a. Ammo conserve is. Um, is uh, A. Uh, C is attack from position, short range, medium, long range. A um, is uh, conserve ammo. No, C is definitely for attack uh, from uh, position. It's uh, A. Yeah, the, the move, you go to move and you can see he was like taken off there. It's like, dude, where are you, where are you, what are you doing? Alright, well the heavy hitters are coming in. This will be over momentarily. You can see Clan ERPPC and Clan LRM. That's why it's so big to get these things right here. You're going to fire yet? There you go. Mission objective complete. Mission successful. All right, 19 kills for Firestorm Plus. He's an elite pilot, so it's always good getting him. Let's go ahead and dive in here. Ooh, man, this one's tough. Let me tell you. So, this is what I would do with this particular battle mech. I would pretty much take that setup right there for. I think that's a good healthy setup. Um, one thing you gotta gotta keep in mind is um, now on this particular setup, basically destroy seven or twelve ordnance trucks. Um, destroy twelve of twelve ordnance trucks. Uh, all right, so basically what happens is right here, there's a whole bunch of ordnance trucks. And when you attack, they all go out convoy style. You have a group that goes out this way. Two groups goes out this way. They split up. One group goes, I mean, just all to the wind. You got one that goes south, one that takes this. And you basically you have to destroy as many. So what I do <laughs> is um, I take a good force but also take a mine layer and what I'll do is I'll actually do not engage I don't do anything here I go all the way I take care of all the forces I mine lay throughout the area and I go down southward mine lay throughout all this go around south and so basically when I say go and I attack and they all go to the four winds um, you know basically I get you know all 12 kills plus I get all the salvage right here um, but this is a lengthy mission. I yeah, first up for that one. Um, let's see. That being said, let's go ahead and look at these particular mechs. You can see uh, Lynx is good to go, Hunter's good to go, um, and Hitman's good to go. So pretty much what I want to do is I want to focus on Mantis, Vixen, Firestorm, um, Goblin, get getting these guys up uh, up to skill and up to par. Um, but yeah, so I take a mine layer, and this one, it takes a while to do, but that that's how I handle this. So I think uh, it is 2.37 a.m. to go ahead and uh, so I'd call it for tonight. Let me go ahead and save this. But I just want to say thank you again, guys, for coming out here. Hopefully you enjoyed this Mech Commander action. I will continue to do so um, possibly tomorrow. I'll stream and do a little bit more, maybe do this particular mission and... Uh, yeah, so uh, let's see, Thor, what's mine lay command? It's F. You can actually, what you could do too is with spacebar, 
uh, you can pretty much tell your bind layer to speed up, yeah, hit F, speed up, hit F, speed up. It's a sort of an annoying thing or else they just take too long. But uh, like on this mission, because you're not under a time constraint, you can take your time as long as you want and lay as many mines as you want. Again, they're pretty much, um, uh, you know, some of these roads, they'll like the one convoy splits up here and goes this way. Another one goes this way. Another one. And uh, you just, you sometimes you just have to... Uh, sort of play it once, sort of see where they go, and then try it again. This is a tough mission, especially on hard. But anyways, guys, have a great night, and uh, I will see you guys possibly tomorrow, and if not, Monday morning for the IGP stream. Until next time, Mech Commanders.